Okay, for today's recipe, our ingredients are culantro, onion, ají dulce or sweet peppers, garlic, oregano and rosemary, tomato paste, bell pepper, and a chat achote, which is an extract from annatto seed, and naturally we have our salt and pepper. Now all these ingredients here, the only thing that I'm missing, which obviously because of the heat I will not have in abundance in my garden, is the cilantro. But I'm not worried about that because I always make uh, batch of this sofrito ingredients here which I keep in my freezer and then I keep it in my food saver bag and always have that on standby or ready for me whenever I need that and I have one that's already defrosted here You know, this process here can be eliminated. You could simply just chop up your ingredients and because it will stew for quite a while and it will break down eventually. But okay, so let's season our beef with some salt. I'm using coarse salt uh, today because I don't have the fine ones anymore. So I'm using this type of salt, sea salt. And we're going to put some fresh cracked black pepper to season our meat. We are going to brown it, but it's a good idea to always season your meat and then add uh, a little less than half a cup of flour. It depends on how much... Uh, meat you're going to brown. Okay, so let's put our meat in the pot. Don't overcrowd your pot when you're browning the meat because you don't want it to just start steaming instead of browning. at the back burner I have my Dutch oven with uh, I, I would say approximately three to four cups of beef broth and I'm keeping it hot so that soon as this beef is brown I will go ahead and take uh, transfer it to the Dutch oven so we're allowing the meat to brown turn it we're going to try to brown the meat on all sides. Okay, so we have the last batch of beef. I'm transferring it directly to the Dutch oven. I'm going to stick this in the oven to continue cooking because I'm going to be needing the stove top and Right inside that pot where we browned the meat, we're going to add our onion. So it seems like I have a lot of sofrito going on here, but actually I will be using this for two recipes. Now this is my uh, anato extract or achote and remember this is going to be for two uh, cooking recipe one is gonna be for the other video which will be my arroz con gandules 
and the other one will be for my beef stew. So okay, now we are going to add a little more of my sofrito here, which I have prepared and kept in my freezer. And that's because I did not have fresh cilantro, so I decided to add some of my frozen sofrito, and I will have that cilantro in here. Okay, we're going to let that stew for a little while and develop its flavor. Okay, so now we had allowed the sofrito to cook well and develop its flavor. Now, I'm going to take just enough for my beef stew and the rest of this sofrito will stay in this pot because I'm going to make my arroz con gandules. Okay? I'm going to try and get as much of the sofrito without taking some of the oil because I'm going to need that for my rice. Okay, that should be good. And now, this beef stew, which is in my Dutch oven, my trusted Dutch oven, I'm going to stick this in the oven on 400 degree with a lid on and let it uh, stew until it's nice and tender. And then we'll take it out and adjust the seasoning. Oh, actually, we're going to add our rosemary and uh, oregano. And now, let me lower the heat on this rice. I mean, this is free to for the rice, okay? Okay, so let's check the meat. There you go. See? Fork tender. So, now that it's that tender, we're going to, we are going to take out the sprigs of rosemary. I'm going to take it out of here. Oops. We don't want all of that woody texture. And okay, so now it's practically fork tender. We are going to add our vegetables. We have uh, carrots and potatoes all cut up. Okay, and now we are going to add our tomato paste. What the tomato paste and the vegetable will do is uh, thicken up the sauce. As you can see, I have a lot of gravy here. But the tomato paste and the vegetable is going to thicken that. Now, I'm going to cover this and put it back in our Oh, not refrigerator. <laughs> I'm putting it back in the oven. Okay, we're going to let it stew for a little bit longer and just until... All the vegetables are tender. See, as you can see, it's just falling off. It's fork tender right there. 